Hey folks, Dave here with another review. Up today is uh, Leslie Jones, aka Patty Tolan. All right. Uh, of course, the actress's name is uh, Leslie Jones. I personally don't find her too funny, but uh, she was okay in the movie. Okay, here she is. Paid four bucks. Comes with the last piece of the Builder figure, the head. And as you can tell, the uh, <clears throat> the gun there is bent. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought. I keep looking at this figure, and it reminds me of the old 1950s uh, stereotypical uh, racist cartoons. Well, I don't know about racist, but you know, it's stereotypical, uh, where they would give you this real dark uh, African American characters with red lips, and and this one just just it just screams like that. Like you would think they would be be uh, past that or beyond that, or done something to make her look more like Patty Jones. What's her name again? I believe it's Patty Jones. Leslie Jones. Oh. Okay, Let's take her out of the package. Pop the head out. And all right. Okay, you not cross the streams. Kind of hard not to when this thing is just bent the hell out of shape. Let's see. There we go. Um, same typical thing as the other Ghostbusters. Uh, spin at uh, the upper, well, lower arm here. All right. Bend and spin in the elbows. Head only goes left to right. Uh, it's hindered by the little thing here. Um, arms go up and down, in and out. In and out. They have that T bar thing there. He does not do the full splits. Okay. Upper, lip, upper thigh swivel. Bend at the knee. And bend at ankle here no turn an ankle just a simple bend and of course bend and uh, turn to the waist and the backpack comes off like all the others there's really nothing uh, spectacular or or added to miss Tolan here um, <clears throat> anything just seems very unspectacular um, ghost symbol the pack nothing screams out as I must buy this figure oh uh, I don't know what else to say I mean I'm glad I've got her for four dollars but uh, if I would have paid 20 bucks for this figure I think I would have been upset I mean there's several things they could have done to this figure to to give it more pop um, the facial expression I mean it looks like one eye is lazy and it's going this way Let's see see like one eye is here and the other one's slowly going to the left here so I know it's it's I don't know I think Mattel just bit the bit the pooch on this one it's like they don't care um, a lot of their DC cinematic universe figures just seem to be that now that they just don't seem to care anymore and uh it, it really shows I mean look at that look at that I don't know what else to say um there's really nothing that will make me tell you go buy this at twenty dollars uh you can find her for four dollars like I did sure why not Add more figures to your collection. You can always use female figures for your collections. Uh, that's pretty much about it. That's it's just a very lackluster figure. It, it's very limited. Uh, I don't know. Well, not limited. I mean, it does have articulation, but it just doesn't have the articulation I'm used to. And uh, Mattel really needs to step it up here because this thing is, yeah terrible that's about it uh thank you for watching have a good day afternoon evening and as always god bless